If you grew up in a certain era, you're probably familiar with the tune, Mr. Sandman, Bring Me a Dream. Well, today we're singing a different tune. It's Mr. Degnan, Bring Us a Dream, a dream home, that is. And we're joined now by Abe Degnan from Des Degnan Design, Build, and Remodel. How are you? I'm doing great today, Justin. It's so good to have you with us. That's yep. just off the top of my head. I just kind of thought, when I'm looking at some of the pictures that you sent, I'm like, you really are kind of realizing people's dreams, which I think is so cool. Every project, somehow or another, is, is recognized recognizing someone's dream. Sometimes it's something little, yeah. sometimes it's something like an indoor pool. Let's talk about that because I saw this actually on Facebook just a, a, a night or two ago and I thought that was so cool. Is this the first one that you've ever done? Have you done a, an indoor pool before? We have not done an indoor pool. About 10 years ago we had a client thinking about it but they nixed it okay. and so um, we built a gymnasium for them but no pool on that one. This is our first indoor pool. Okay, all right. And so when you're, when you're taking on a new challenge, how do you learn what to do? Well, you know, you got to put together a great team of people to mm -hmm. figure that out. And, you know, it is it is about the, the people that you're working with, the concrete uh, people, the excavator, the pool company, mm -hmm. the sauna company, all of them finding the right experts and including your heating and cooling, because all those things are really critical to the process of building mm -hmm. an indoor pool where you actually need to put that pool in the ground and fill it with water before building the building over top of it. I noticed that in some of the pictures that there was water in the pool yet it was totally unfinished around. I thought, is that on purpose? That was on purpose uh, okay. because the pool itself had to get in place mm -hmm. um, and that thing is too big to go through even the largest patio door that we placed. We put a 16 foot patio door in there. The pool still can't go through that and it has to get placed with a crane into the ground oh, wow. because it's a fiberglass pool. And okay. so you, you just have to tweak all those things to get them in the perfect order and then one of the photos that uh, I have in here we built a temporary floor over top of that pool the pool went in the foundation had gone in built a temporary floor over it built everything else around yeah. and then finished the building um, using that temporary floor as the working area okay. protecting the pool yeah. uh, and keeping all the workers safe as well yeah I imagine that would be kind of a, a kind of an obstacle to overcome is figuring out how do we get the work done with this pool that's full of water. Right? That's right, that's yeah. right, yep. Yeah, very cool. So let's take just a couple, couple of pictures here. So yeah, you've gotta really plan ahead because you have so many of the uh, like the, the plumbing and everything's got to be to code I imagine it's got to be done right that's right that's right so you know for example um, we had to place the um, heating and cooling equipment in the basement of the mm -hmm. existing home mm -hmm. and that required taking and drilling like an 18 inch hole in the concrete wall for some duct work to go out okay we had to get everything placed just right um, some really cool stuff we did is actually with commercial refrigeration we um, we reclaim the heat that is done from the dehumidification system okay. and put that into the concrete floor so that in the winter time they have a heated concrete Ooh. floor um, gener using the heat the energy that would have been wasted dumped out from dehumidification yeah yeah. Wow. Now I imagine with a, a pool and a, a hot tub that there's humidity control issues for sure. So how do you manage that? Well, you need to do a really great job on your insulation mm -hmm. and your vapor retarder to make sure that that moisture can't push through. Right. Um, but then that dehumidification that I was talking about as well, mechanical dehumidification using some energy and then putting on an awesome pool cover. But you end up with just a phenomenal result when this is done Beautiful. and durable, low maintenance materials. Yeah. The Even the design of the ductwork is part of what makes this thing beautiful uh, because it gets the air movement where it needs to be to look good and to keep those windows free from condensation. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I you know, we talked about the, um, the uh, hot tub, but there's a spa and a sauna too, right? Yeah, there sure is. So there is a nice little infrared sauna yeah. tucked in a corner. And then um, we looked at that pool equipment earlier and how the spa actually sits in the middle of that pool equipment oh, with yeah. a little bit of a deck built around it. Yes. And then you have all the other space that the homeowners wanted for their, their recreation, their card playing, yeah. um, you know, room to sit together and have a drink, watch the football game, and even a little electric fireplace over in the corner to give some ambience even though they don't need the extra heat. 
Real quick, before we go, are there any other uh, features that the, these clients requested? Well, the last thing was getting a great changing room in place with both a shower um, and then the, you know, the sink and the toilet so that they don't need to go inside the house when they're all wet and need to take a break or get changed. Awesome, awesome. Ed Degnan, thank you so much for being here with us. So how do people get started with Degnan Design Build Remodel? And they want to go to our website at DegnanDesignBuildRemodel.com and uh, they're going to see this project featured at the top of the page and then they're going to want to go down and look for one of the buttons that says something like get started today or schedule an appointment with a designer. We got buttons like that all over the place. There you have it, Dream Maker right here. We'll be back after the break. Stick around.